For over 13 years, the men and women of the International Security Assistance Force, or ISAF, have dedicated themselves to assisting the Afghans to build a stable, secure, and unified country. As we complete the ISAF mission, it is important to take a moment and recognize the impacts and contributions of each of the more than 50 nations which have served as part of this historic coalition. We've expended a tremendous amount of blood and treasure in this worthwhile endeavor not only to help the Afghans to create a better future for themselves, but also to protect our homelands by ensuring that Afghanistan never again becomes a safe haven for international terrorists. If we compare the Afghanistan of today to what it was in 2001, we can see that in spite of many challenges, we've been remarkably successful in our campaign. Working together, we established and maintained the conditions which allowed Afghanistan to remain sovereign while simultaneously building from scratch Afghanistan's modern army and police force of over 350,000 personnel. They've now been in the lead for two fighting seasons, and they're aggressively pursuing the enemy and defeating them. The Afghan National Security Forces have become the most respected institution in the country. When the history books are written, they will emphasize the extraordinary courage and commitment of the young men and women of the Afghan National Security Forces and our coalition's 50 nations. The cost of our engagement in Afghanistan has been considerable. Every day, we remember the fallen, wounded, and the martyrs of Afghanistan. Their dedication to this mission drives us all to endure. It drives us to win. We bring meaning to their sacrifices by seeing this campaign through. At the early stage of the ISAF mission, nations made a pledge to help Afghanistan establish stability and increase security. These nations have selflessly contributed to the ever-growing stability of the region and the growth and maturity of the Afghan National Security Forces. More than 50 nations would provide comprehensive assistance and unparalleled investment in Afghanistan. We can all be proud of what has been accomplished in Afghanistan. Just 11 years ago, in 2003, with just barely 2,000 Afghan security forces, ISAF faced the daunting road to train, advise, and assist our Afghan partners. But from the beginning, Afghans have demonstrated bravery and self-determination for a sovereign democratic country. What had started largely as an infantry force has grown into a cohesive organization with specialized skills that can carry out complex operations largely without ISAF. Afghan security forces comprise 350,000 dedicated men and women, the strongest in Afghan history. 13 years into the mission, we are coming to the end of ISAF. We have achieved what we came to Afghanistan for. 50 nations stood side by side to support the Afghans in their struggle. And today we see Afghan national security forces ready to take over the responsibility for their country. We have helped them on this path 50 nations together, arm in arm and shoulder by shoulder with the Afghans. We are proud of what we achieved and we are proud of what we see in Afghanistan. As we transition to the Resolute Support Mission, we must stay the course and finish the job at hand. I thank everyone within ISAF for your hard work and endurance. And I especially want to thank your families who sacrificed so much to support us here. It's my profound privilege and honor serve alongside you in our noble cause. Thank you.